In the beginning of the 1990s, we had a difficult crisis. The Soviet Union collapsed, and people didn't know what to expect for the future. The old was destroyed, and the new wasn't built yet. And I believe Billy Graham's crusade gave people hope for a better future. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. When me and my wife came to this event and we heard the words of life, it touched our hearts and we decided to give our lives to Jesus. And the time we live in now in Ukraine is very similar with the war. And Franklin Graham's Festival of Hope comes at a pivotal time in our history. And so that's the invitation this morning, to turn from your sin and receive the forgiveness that only he can give. Well, we're part of the uh, Festival of Hope here in Lviv, and we're working with local churches in taking the gospel onto the streets, so to proclaim the good news of Jesus and to invite people to the festivals. There is uh, quite a receptiveness to what we are saying, and there seems to be a hunger for hope. The timing just seems quite remarkable. Uh, at the end of one of the, the preaching, a young woman uh, took a, one of the flyers that we offered. We talked her through the gospel using the Steps to Peace with God booklet. And it was quite amazing as we talked it through, just this awareness for her that she had no assurance of salvation actually. Um, perhaps had never really asked for forgiveness for her sin. And so we were able to, to lead her to Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hope is a word that's come up time and time again. So we're able to talk about not just the festival of hope, but the one true hope, Jesus. We're in Lviv uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, this is a city of about uh, 800,000. We have about 1,200 churches. There are hundreds of buses that have been organized. Trains have been uh, organized. People are coming from about six different regions. And so we have a great opportunity uh, to preach and proclaim the hope that we have, and that is through faith in Jesus Christ. If you have never received Christ by faith into your heart, into your life, I want you to get up out of your seat and come stand in front of this platform. Before the festival, Franklin was praying that God would send so many people that there wouldn't be enough materials for everyone. And it happened. Thousands of people came forward. I think Franklin's words touched everyone. As I came forward, God touched my heart, and I began to cry. I was sorry for all the sins in my life. I asked Jesus Christ into my heart, and He forgave me. I believe this is the future of Ukraine. People with new values and people who love God. Glory to God. I just want to report to you what God has done this weekend. Yesterday, we were in Lviv in the Ukraine. We got up early in the morning and now we have flown here to the Faroe Islands, a little group of islands tucked between Scotland and Iceland, out in the middle of the Atlantic. Cold, rainy, sheep everywhere. We were given an opportunity to come and to preach in this small country and we have had about 9% of the population of the country come to this meeting. Unbelievable. And uh, people have stood in line outside in the cold to get in here, but God blessed. We had to preach twice. So many people wanted to come. We had to have two back-to-back -back meetings. And each time we gave the gospel and people just flooded forward. It's been two amazing evenings and uh, we have really felt the Lord's work. I really have a lot of hopes for tonight and God has answered our prayers. It's amazing. 
it's just a blessing for this country, for these islands.